Starting a video is by far the most awkward and the hardest part. I remember the first time I saw a bow hat made by a nurse on my labor and delivery unit that I work on. I thought it was something that she had made at home with like a sewing machine. It just looked so cute on the baby girl's head. I just didn't realize it was so easy to make. Now that I have seen other people at work make them, I know for certain that this is something you can do at work as long as you have a pair of scissors. I feel like it looks a lot harder than it actually is. So I wanted to make a video on how to make those cute bow hats with the hospital supplied beanies for newborn babies. All you need to make one of these cute hospital hats is two hospital supplied beanies and a pair of nursing scissors. The sharper the scissors, the better. To get the most use out of each hat, when you make a bow hat, you actually kind of have to make two. When you cut one of the hats in half to make the bow, you'll have two bow pieces. So you might as well just make two bow hats. So if you only have one baby girl that you need to make a hat for, see if one of your other nurses could use a bow hat or maybe leave it at like the nurse's station so that when the next baby girl is born, it can be given to her. Okay, to start off, you're gonna take your beanie and you're going to fold it in half. Try not to fold it too far so that it'll still fit on the baby's head because sometimes, you know, those babies have really big heads. Set that one aside and then you're gonna take another hat and you're gonna cut it in half down the middle. This is why you need such sharp scissors. Try to cut it as even as possible. That was not very even at all, but I think we can save it. So you're gonna turn the cut part in a little bit because you don't wanna see the frayed edge. I like to kind of stretch it out a little bit, make it as pliable as possible. Now you're gonna take the hat that you folded and make two little cuts right next to each other. And these are gonna go up and down, so you really need some sharp scissors for this. So you make one cut. Now make sure you don't make it too close to that because then it won't work. So now you should be able to see your finger through and you're gonna feed it through. Don't worry about getting it even right the first time. You can kind of play around with it after you get it in. So we're almost done. We'll tuck away any corners like we talked about. So what you wanna do is pull the middle right here, pull that up so it makes kind of like a cute bow shape. And I like to be like really extra and try to make this as small as possible. All right, and there you have it, a little bow hat for a baby. I think this one turned out super cute. I am gonna take this back to work with me so that I can give it to the next baby girl that I deliver. One recommendation that I have is don't have this be the hat that is sitting in the warmer for when they're first born, because we all know when they're born, they're super slimy and have all kinds of stuff on them. Just use like a plain hat for that. And then once the baby has had its first bath, this can be her first hat. It is so cute and I feel like it's really special for the moms. I had a personal experience this week where I made two of these. I brought them in for a mom and the mom started crying, which I wasn't expecting because she said that she had had an older son and all of this baby girl stuff was like hand-me-downs from her son and she didn't have any girl things for the baby. So this was gonna be the baby's first like kind of girly thing. I don't know, it just meant a lot to her, which meant a lot to me. It was a really good experience. Sometimes if you have time, which I know a lot of times it's so busy on the unit. If you can find downtime or if you're like giving blood and you have to sit with the patient for a little while, doing something like this can really make a difference and make it be like a very special experience for the patients. Hopefully this was an easy tutorial to follow. So I'm gonna try to make the little cub hat that I've seen for baby boys. I've never done this before, so this is gonna be my first time. I have seen it done before. We will see how it turns out. I'm going to use the supplies from when I made a bow hat. I have a hat that I cut in half. I definitely did not cut it very even, but we're gonna try it out. As far as I'm aware, you just fold a hat, just like you would with a bow hat, give it a little bit of like a cuff, cut the corners off of it. You'll need pretty sharp scissors for this. Okay, got one corner cut. All right. And then as far as I know, you just take this in and pull out the corners. I have also heard this referred to as like a fox hat. 
So that's another way you could kind of sell it. I do think it kind of looks more like a fox than a cub hat. It does work. Okay. And that's all you do. It just makes a little, little ears on the hat so that they kind of look like a little bear cub or maybe a little fox. I even feel like it kind of looks like pig ears, but that might be just the way that I did it. <laughs> there you have it. That is how you make a little cub hat. And then when you put it on the baby, when you open it up, you would just put the baby's head in it like normal. And then the part that made the cub ears, you would just open that up too when you put it on their head. This is probably more of like a photo op kind of hat. <laughs> I don't know how much like how it would hold up unless you kind of sewed it or glued it into place, but it's definitely super cute. And I'm gonna make the rest of these hats into bow hats and cub hats and bring them to my unit when I work again tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was actually really fun to do and they turned out way cuter than I thought they were going to. It's definitely a work in progress trying to learn how to do like arts and crafts kind of stuff. I know each one I make will be a little bit better. But I think these are super cute, especially the bow one. I just really, really like that. I had a baby boy, so I definitely didn't get to do all the cute little bow stuff. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other different hat tricks that you guys know or any other cool labor and delivery things that you guys would like to see because I'm always open to trying out new things. This was actually a suggestion from someone on Instagram and I'm so glad I got to make this video because it was really, really fun. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. If you are a labor and delivery nurse, I hope you deliver lots of healthy babies this week. Have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.